Michael, we start off in the first. Not a kind draw for that track, but an impeccably bred son of Bold Silvana, who's doing really, really nicely with uh, Craig Zaki aboard. Andrew, a smart looking horse, a nice big individual. Um, bad draw, as you said before. Uh, he needs to get on the track, probably be wanting the run. Um, Adam and I decided let's get him on the on the track. It can only uh, be an advantage from experience, and then we'll go forward from there. Well, Cass, not the most auspicious debut. Uh, surely you must be expecting some kind of improvement from him. Mm. Yes, Mr. Mon. Uh, obviously, he's looking for further. His um, Randall came back and he actually told me that yeah, maybe it, it was it's, it's definitely too sharp for him. Uh, he's, he has improved. Uh, I'd, I'd say the 1450 probably on the sharp side as well, but look, he's going around, the, going along the right way, and uh, if he improves and, and and we can go forward from there, you know, he's obviously looking for a mile and plus. So. A Ditterod Trail and Vetri Vel, uh, one with Chase Mojon and one with Pumi Majorca. Yeah, neither of them have been um, tried, so to speak, um, uh, on the grass very hard. We're trying to save a bit of mileage on their legs, but you know they look ready to run. So so let's get them out and see what they're about. They they're both nice horses. I uh, wouldn't really be able to pick between the two, um, and if I did, I'd probably get it wrong. But uh, you know, have a look at how they go down to the start. They're nicely bred horses, and um, I'm hoping one of them can just pop up. On to the second, Storm Destiny, beautifully bred daughter of Dynasty out of a top-class race. Man, she's produced a whole lot of successful horses. What are you expecting from a, a deeper straw? Yes, um, she's been showing us some decent work. Um, you know, obviously, uh, with, it, with it being on the inside track, drawn, drawn out eight, not going to be easy for her. But, uh, yeah, if she, I mean, I think the, the, the track probably would suit her. You know, she's a very light frame type of filly. Um, if she does uh, finish off a race nicely and run into the money, you know, which I certainly think she's capable of, uh, I think we'd be pretty happy with that type of effort. She will obviously come on from the run, and there'll, there'll definitely be a lot of improvement from her to come. Okay, lovely. First leg of the place, Cumulator, you've got Ragnarok once again with Craig Zaki. Yeah, I'm expecting him to run a decent sort of race. Craig's got a way of, of how he wants to ride him and he reckons he'll be competitive. There'll also need to be improvement from Nawasi. Um, I believe uh, she gets the blinkers. Yes, we, we've opted to, to put the blinkers on. Um, yeah, she, she's quite temperamental. I mean, uh, Matthew has, has alluded to the fact that she she's not... Uh, so not all there up there, but anyway, we can work with that. Uh, yeah, it just depends on, on how behaviour is, you know, that's, she's, she's that type of horse. Um, uh, I, I can't fault her work in blinkers, which is obviously a good thing. Uh, yeah, she does have a wide draw to overcome as well, which is not going to be easy on that track. But yes, if she, if she does bring her homework in the blinkers, we, we can definitely expect a forward run from her. On to the fourth, we've got here the storm with uh, Francie Herald, who goes back a long, long way to Imperial Dispatch. Yeah, you know, Francie's been riding a bit of work now and we've been giving him a couple of rides. He rode a winner for us the other day. And, you know, Francie's not a bad rider. He's a very, very hard-working jockey. He's riding all over the country and uh, having some nice success and he deserves it, you know. He's a very hard-working boy. Um, about how the storm battling was, you know, he's been battling for a long time to win a race, but Adam <coughs> has worked out a pattern with him and he's been improving steadily. And I really hope he picks up one for Jamie and Marissa somewhere along the line. Uh, but he's in a good space at the moment, and let's hope around he runs another true race. On to the fourth, uh, another candidate that seems ready for the blinkers is Limestone Mass. Yeah, I'm pretty keen to see how he, how he will fare in the blinkers. Uh, he certainly give them, gives the impression that he, that he certainly wants the blinkers, just to help him a little bit in his races. Uh, he hasn't been, I mean, his form hasn't been... It's not that bad. He hasn't been going through with his efforts. So, but I mean, he's also it's well within himself. His work's been pretty good. So I think with the blinkers on, you know, he, he could be troubling them in the first three. On to the first leg of the pick six, where you've got the pair of unspoken passion with Marco back in the irons and wolves among sheep. Yeah, put a line through his last run. He he ran about eight wide in a work riders, um, and you know he's working. He's working well. He's feeling well. He's been bucking in doing his thing this morning, so I'm, I'm really hoping he can come to the party now and try something. Uh, I think if we don't get a good run out of him now, he'll go, so um, I'm hoping for a big one. Excellent. Then on to Just a Jet in race five, Carl Zechner. She's obviously got her quirks, but she stays well, and she's honest when she really puts it in. Yeah, she is an honest filly, or saying that though this is a strong field. She does run well for Carl. I'm just hoping that she gives a good performance. 
And then Tappan Z, he's quirky, but uh, he's certainly not without ability. And he seems to be finding his form now with top jock Lyle Hewitson aboard. Yeah, Lyle knows this horse. Um, he does well for Lyle. He's in a good space on the tracks at home. And if the right to Z comes to the course and his head's in the right space, he could very well win a race of this nature. Condor Gulch improved dramatically with the fitting of the blinkers. His form is really, really solid. And he seemed to only get going in the closing stages of the last race. So the extra looks like it will suit well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, obviously, with it, uh, with, yeah, with it extra, I think, it's three furlongs from the last time he won. Uh, yeah, will definitely suit him. He only got going in the last 200 meters, I thought, in, in his in his in his maiden win. The the form line, uh, I've sort of scrutinised the form line quite well there, and certainly suggests that he's got every every opportunity and all the scope in the world to improve and and and, and go on and possibly trouble them again. You know, he's also a horse that's also well within himself. He's a very fit horse. I don't see why he couldn't possibly follow up there. Okay, and then uh, on to the old fella, Detonation. Um, he has been known to run some extraordinarily good races. Uh, Chase climbs aboard him. Yeah, he took that last run very hard. Um, he was he was very tired after the race. It's, uh, I think a touch too far. Uh, this will probably suit him a little bit better. He does stay this trip, and um, he's looking well. So, yeah, in with a chance. And then you've got the pair of Big Parade and Kremlin Judgment. Big Parade, um, I think they... I think Matthew was expecting good things from in Cape Town. It didn't quite map out, but he's had the unkindest cut of all, and I'm sure um, things will improve from here onwards. Yeah, look, I mean, uh, a lot of our horses never had the greatest of a, uh, a campaign down in the Cape, you've got, you've got to admit. But, uh, yeah, he's come back well, you know, he's, he's, he's looking good. He's obviously been gelded. Yeah, he, has, he hasn't really troubled in, of late, but... He's also certainly has ability, and you know if if he runs a forward race, we'll be happy with this, you know, so we can move forward with him. Criminal judgment, also another one fitted with the blinkers. Uh, yeah, ran a very good race last time. I think he, if I'm not mistaken, he got beaten by Mr. Rudolph's horse, the rising legend. Yeah, I, I, I think he's pretty, he's a pretty talented horse. So I mean, the form line certainly there. If he, he's just got to produce that type of effort, and uh, I don't see why he couldn't be right there in the finish again. Then on to race seven. What's in the name? Certainly working as far as this fellow's concerned, the rising legend. Yeah, <laughs> not the easiest guy to work with, uh, but he's, he's coming right, uh, touch wood. And, um, you know, he looks like a good horse. So he's one of those horses that you hold your breath because you just hope he's going to be something special. And hopefully we can see it again this weekend. And then on to the eighth where you've got Trip to Troy and Chase aboard. Yeah, he's working a right. Also, not the best of luck in some of his recent races, um, but he's a, he's a little campaigner. You, you're going to get a shout if you add him in your quartets and, and uh, trifectas.